This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I make other brushes function like Curve Standard and Curve Pinch? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example Polysphere here loaded in. And the question is asking about the Curve Standard and Curve Pinch brushes. So if I navigate over the brush palette over here and open this up, on the second row of brushes, you'll see there is a Curve Pinch brush, and then there's also a Curve Standard brush. Now if I select this brush and now try to perform a stroke on my model, you'll see that it's going to create a curve. Now after this curve has been created, if I now adjust the curve, then the stroke will be applied across the area where that curve existed. So you can see if I come across my model, draw a curve, and then click and drag on that curve, that stroke will be applied. Now the Curve Standard Brush and the Curve Pinch Brush both have the same functionality. So if I go back to the brush palette over here and grab the Curve Pinch Brush, I can now rotate around my model, click and drag, which is going to establish that curve. And then if I click on that curve and drag, you'll see that stroke is going to be applied. So the question is asking if there is a way to get this effect of being able to draw a curve out on your model and then have that curve apply the brush stroke to other brushes inside of ZBrush. So the answer to this is yes. And to get this functionality, you just need to enable the curve modifier in the stroke palette for the selected brush. So if I come back over to the brush palette and open this up, I'm gonna come over here and just grab the Damien standard brush and just select that. Now you'll see normally if I just click and drag on my model, it's going to give me this effect. So it's just going to carve into the surface. However, if I come up to the stroke palette up here and open this up and then navigate to the curve area, in here there is a curve mode button. So if I activate this and then also turn on snap, now if I come across the surface of my model and click and drag, it's going to now draw that curve out first. And then if I click and drag on that curve, then that stroke is going to be applied. So to get the functionality of that Curve Pinch and Curve Standard Brush, all you need to do is select the brush you want to modify, go to the Stroke Palette, go to the Curve Area, enable Curve Mode, and then also enable Snap. Now after this has been set, you should be able to draw a curve out on your model and then apply that stroke. Now this process can be used on the majority of the brushes inside of ZBrush. However, it's going to work the best with brushes that have a base type of standard. So you see if I hover over the Damien standard brush here, you can see its base type is standard. And then if I go back in here and say select the pinch brush and hover over that, you'll see that that one is also a base type of standard. And then if I go to the curve standard brush and hover over that, you'll see that one too has a base type of standard. So the curve functionality is going to work the best with any brushes with that standard base type. Now you can use this curve effect on other brushes that do not have that base type of standard. So one example of this is coming over here and selecting a brush like the Trim Adaptive Brush. If I hover over this brush, you can see that its base type is clay. And then if I go to the Stroke Palette, I can turn on the Curve Mode, Activate Snap, and now I'm gonna get that same functionality where if I draw my model, I'm gonna get a curve, and then now if I click and drag on the curve, you'll see that Trim Adaptive process is gonna be applied. So you can use this to your advantage to start generating some interesting designs by using a curve first and then clicking and dragging to apply the sculptural mark. So that process one more time is just to select a brush and then navigate to the stroke palette. In the stroke palette, just go to the curve area and then underneath this area, make sure you have curve mode active and then also enable snap. And then after you have those set, you'll get the same functionality for that brush as you were getting with the curve pinch or the Curve Standard Brush. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.